the Lich King is very much dead, and they did a real number on him, and I don't see any way of him coming back from super death or whatever it is that you would call this. But Arthas, that's another story altogether. He is still very much around. And I'm going to start by proving this right off the bat. I'm going to explain why in lore as well. So, see this kid here? Yep, that's him. That's Arthas. Well, at least what's left of Arthas anyway. And his name, this is just an anagram for Arthas Minethel. Plus, this kid has all of the memories of Arthas from the time of him picking up the Mornblade to the time that he is separated from Arthas. So, I kind of feel like this is a quick and easy way to just prove that Arthas has at least two souls. Now we're going to go into the, like, the lore reason as to understanding this. And we have to start with a quest. A Paladin's Soul is a quest you go on to go find Uther's Soul, which is in Torgas. But the quest text here is what's most important. Here we see that when a Mornblade is used in rage against someone, this is what splits their souls, or at least breaks it into fragments. Fragments. More than one, possibly. We don't know. It'll be a plot twist later. Now, there is a quest line in Ice Crown that will hopefully with Wrath of the Lich King Classic coming out, a lot of people are going to be doing. And this is where you run into this kid. Not to get into too many details, but near the end, you find out Arthas cut out his own heart. And when he did this, this kid showed up. And even after completing this quest line, this kid is still here in Ice Crown. So now we just need to prove that he wielded rage against himself when he cut out his own heart. And I feel like that's pretty easy. I mean, just look at the facts. He killed his own father, he ruined his own kingdom, and then on top of everything else, all of the regret that he had with Jaina. That relationship affected him greatly, and it is very predominantly pronounced in the book, which I highly recommend. It's a great read. Quick minute and kind of make counterpoints, um, or at least debunk them from incoming. After completing the quest with the Arthas Ghost Kid, He's still there after everything that happens with that, so, you know, it's it's not like at the end of the quest he just disappears, because he doesn't. He's still there. Um, we do not see when Devos and Uther show up to ninja Arthas' soul from us. They don't grab the kid, too, and take him to the Maw and toss him in. The only real point that has any real merit to it is when Sylvanas goes to the Maw. And when Sylvanas goes to the Maw, at least in the older material, I haven't read the new book. Sorry, I've been kind of sylvanas out, so I haven't read the new novel yet. I'll get around to it eventually. But she sees a version of Arthas being hunted and tortured by the inhabitants of the Maw. This could be the version that is the child that survived, but I kind of doubt it because... As I stated before, we never see that version actually go to the Maw, so in my opinion, this is more than likely the Death Knight version of Arthas reverted to a child so that it can be more easily harassed and bullied. And last but not least, here is a quick search on Google for what has been retconned, and I'm even going to take a guess and say that they probably missed some things here. But you can see it's kind of a big list, so I feel like I've created enough probable deniability at this point that even if I have missed something or some other thing, there's enough reasoning here to retcon this. Because honestly, there, there's just too much of him still in the game, in my opinion, to not do something about it. So I feel like this kind of checks all the boxes. We've proven that he used Mornblade. We've proven he wielded it in rage against himself. And we have two Arthuses here, essentially. What's left and plus the Lich King version of himself. So what does this mean going forward? Very little, I'm afraid. The current lore team has been setting up to get rid of Arthas since at least BFA with Jaina's storyline in her connecting with her mother over her past griefs that involved Arthas as well, plus with her family. And then we have all the stuff with Sylvanas and her becoming Arthas and then forgiving herself. And now, real quick, 
I know I'm sounding like I'm coming down hard on the lore team. I don't mean to be. I'm actually really looking forward to Dragonflight because they'll be fixing one of the greatest mistakes in my personal opinion, and that is removing the aspects. That was so dumb to me so many years ago, and it's still dumb to this day, and I'm glad that we're finally doing something about it. But you have a natural mulligan here with Arthas, and let's be real. Last time you guys brought back a character, it worked out pretty well for you. So one more thing before I go, there's some old MMO Champion posts about this, plus there's even a new Reddit post about this. So yeah, I just figured I'd point that out to people. I'm not trying to steal anybody's credit. I'm sure everybody else saw this too. Uh, I'll put them up on screen here, that way people can see them. It's just, this is a really old idea and no one's ever talked about it. Have a good day. Enjoy Wrath.